Hi everyone. I think I am done with OpenAI's marketing gimmicks. It's what now 11 p.m. I am recording this video to just say that I know I am just one among many out there in this AI space, but I just really want to be honest that I'm switching from ChatGPT Plus to Cloud. Yep, after being a loyal ChatGPT subscriber for over one and a half years, I have now cancelled the ChatGPT subscription because I am jumping my ship to Cloud. And before you think, why now? especially when OpenAI has just launched smartest model yet, the O1 preview and O1 mini model. Well, let's discuss that in details. I'm probably going to talk about what no one is talking about uh, after launching this smart model. And just to explain why this switch is not just a whim, but really a game changer for me in just last few days. See, I am not a AI model review guy. So I have never done any AI model review in this channel before. See, there is no doubt about uh, OpenAI creating the best models out there. We all know they always try to be in the game in one or two steps than the other competitors. There is no doubt about it, even in my mind. And that is the reason I have been using ChatGPT rigorously um, over the last one and a half year, it's mainly for my coding and software development uh, specific task. But there is a problem I think OpenAI is still not resolving, you know, within the ChatGPT Plus subscription. And that is the token limitations. What I mean by that is, like, if I do a kind of code development, uh, as I continue to give more prompts, it starts hallucinating after, let's say, prompts or after providing the code files for analysis and all this thing. And with this new model, I don't think that is also going away. So because the context window hasn't increased, Yes, the reasoning capability have increased, but when they are saying that this model can reason, please do not think that this is uh, some kind of AGI that has came up, right? I mean, it's still in prediction model. So what they're basically doing is yeah, they're taking your input and then in the first iteration, the, their existing model is creating an output and they are just doing chain of thoughts. Yeah. So that's why the model response is very slow. Just, so just to show you, if I just select one preview, and just send this from to create my software development plan. So if you just see, it just did some chain of thoughts for four seconds before it uh, came back with the response. Now, if I just say I want to build an AI, you know, take it. just a simple prompt like that, it would again go into thinking. And one of the problem that is going to happen is as your input and output will grow, it will take all the history of communications to the token calculations. And as a result, if you have seen now with just this prompt, now it took eight seconds for the thought and reasoning. So I don't think this is going to be really helpful for my coding and software development related task. First thing, it's not that I have canceled the subscription after I came to know about this O1 mini or O1 model. I actually done the cancellation a few days back. And just after that only they have sent this email that they have launched this O1 mini model. And I immediately I had this counter thought whether I should actually leave OpenAI because now they have a smarter model coming in as well. But then even before trying out the model in ChatGPT Plus, I saw a few things. One, it's saying this model are not available in the API in your account. Uh, it is only available to developers beyond usage tier five. Now, when I went into the usage tier five details, I could see that to become an eligible for tier five, I need to spend thousand dollar in the API cost. And then also I will only get 20 requests per minute limit. And that's like what? I mean, that is nothing when you compare this for any coding related task. So yeah, I understand that uh, this is a really new model. Uh, they still have to probably have a lot of operational overhead that they have to um, look through, probably increase this as time goes on. So yeah, if that thing improves, I'll probably have a think about coming back and use OpenAI's um, model, but yeah, at the moment I'm done. Although the model is not available says through uh, platform OpenAI, I think you could still use it in Open Router. So Open Router have already listed the model, but the price is insane. I really don't know if with this price, anyone who is using OpenAI ChatGPT Plus or OpenAI's APIs for software development purpose, especially uh, people like me who are like solopreneur or hobbyist, they would be able to use it. It's, it's impossible. Plus the token context hasn't been increased. So it is still 128,000 token. 
and as i said the problem one problem is it's eating up a lot of token as you just prompted through so one preview is not going to solve the problem that i am facing with chat gpt where i have to come back and forth with different error message or different feature that i want to add if i keep on ask chat gpt it just starts to hallucinate or it, it starts to forget the previous responses so i think they have added the memory feature but i don't think that has made a lot of improvement at least from what i have observed in last few days the other thing that i also want to point out is that the open router page although it says 128000 context don't know whether this includes both input and output tokens because when i was going through this uh, page for their reasoning blog post it seems like it only have 32 it seems like they only have 32768 token context window and then for one mini they have 65536 context window skills and ability because yes this model is really really powerful for mathematical tasks and other stuff and, and the reasoning task but again i want to really point out that please do not consider the reasoning as like some kind of human thinking it is a prediction model it is just feeding the prediction output from what its model creation to the second um, iteration chain of thoughts to create the output okay nothing more than that now one of the really important stuff that i actually found interesting in this particular blog and i'll attach the link of the blog in this video description is that it says one requests denser context and is more sensitive to clutter and unnecessary tokens um, traditional prompting approach often involved redundancy in giving instruction which we found negatively impacted performance with our uh, one what this really means as a software developer uh, is if i am creating a micro SaaS using ai features and let's say i want to use the top of the shelf model today i won't be able to use at least with open ai because all my prompting technique and the prompting um, instructions in my code seems to be not helping the AI model, rather it will degrade the performance of the AI model. So if it negatively impacts, that means it will negatively impact my uh, micro SaaS output as well. So I think it's not again perfect for software development purpose, uh, at least the purpose that I am using for. Other than that, there are other benchmark that they have mentioned somewhere in their blogs. Uh, I have no issues with that. I'm not a PhD student and I'm not going to use for any mathematical applications, but if you are looking to create some mathematical applications or some really complex use case. I, I just hope this model work out for you. It's just too expensive for me to even use this model. And I hope the model cost will come down in the near future. The other thing that I was saying about Cloud A, why I have moved to Cloud A is really because of the concept of projects and artifacts. So what I have done now is I have now created a system using which I am able to create code at least 10 times better than what I was doing with ChatGPT uh, without hitting the token limit within cloud. So I'm just going to create a tutorial shortly within the next two days, uh, hopefully about the new system. And I'm probably just going to show you how you can create any um, full stack application. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel for the upcoming video. And I have already created a video about Replit Agent. So click that link and watch out that video. Other than that, join the community, subscribe to the channel and take care. I'll see you in the next one.